couldn't catch this rifle to me. Dan, what you saw Sean O'Hagan come to Frank Smith and say, I'm actually paying the judges. So obviously not happy about the stoppage there. I'm assuming. What did you think? I, if I'm deadly honest, so caught up in the moment, I wasn't really looking at the clock. I did see the stalwart come out, uh, which indicates, I guess, that the, it was near the end of the round. But what a fight! Unbelievable. What, what a fight! I just said it in commentary there. Every time Lee Wood fights, it's like a Rocky film. You beat, he's done. He's gone. The weight's done. Him. The resistance is gone. He can't move. The power's gone out. The shot, bang. He wins. Like you'd think that wasn't real. Again, incredible, incredible. Because the, the way the fight was looking, obviously, we know Lee Wood doesn't always start kind of out the traps very quickly, but we saw Josh Warrington very dominant in that fight, in that first half, but then, I mean, Lee Wood's pulled it out. But how long can he keep doing this for? I don't know. I think, you know, we've heard it there. That was his last fight at featherweight. He'll move up, and hopefully we see a bit more freshness to his legs certainly because they looked they looked shot to pieces I must say like honestly I had Josh Warrington cruising cruising at that point and uh, out of nowhere he finds that shot again nuts uh, Cordina yes. <laughs> Cordina and um, and Lee Wood super featherweight Eddie mentioned it there just a little bit more pressure put on that fight in Monte Carlo now for Cordina. Do you know how I many wins that one? Huge, another huge domestic dust up uh, at the city ground, massive, huge. I, 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 honestly, I'm exhausted. That was incredible. Brilliant night here in Sheffield. Darren Barker, thank you thank very you much. Talk to Eiffel TV. Thank you, mate.